What are your emotions, your thoughts after that? Just proud of the team. I felt like all three phases kind of hung tough today. That's been the story of our season is hanging tough together. And I thought, you know, we definitely needed all three phases to win today. Um, you know, it was a tough, rugged game. That team was playing, um, you know, for their playoff lives, for their, for their division. You could see that they had played with a lot of purpose. Um, and I, I felt like our guys had their best when their best was required there at the end. Um, but it was a tough, tough football game and, and uh, proud of our football team that we finished it. Brandon, the last two weeks you haven't had Derwin James. His defense has really climbed down. Last week on Tua Tungabailoa and the receivers this week on Derrick Henry for the most part. What does yeah. that say about your defense that they're kind of starting to play their best ball towards the back end of the season? Yeah, Fernando, we got a really good defensive culture right now. Got a lot of guys that believe in each other. I think what we've had to do, Fernando, is have people step up um, and play significant roles, and it's brought out the best in them. And I really feel like we're playing as a unit, and that's what I feel out there. I feel like a team that's playing as a unit. I'm disappointed that we weren't able to finish that out in two minutes, um, but our guys fought to the end there on the goal line and gave us a chance. Um, but very proud of our defensive football team. We were excellent on third down today. Um, you know, we put a roof on the coverage. I thought we rushed the passer well. We put a lot of pressure on the quarterback today. And, and you know, we made it tough on him in the run game. And our guys really competed today. Uh, and I thought that that was the story of the game was how our defense played. You, uh, in terms of the pass rush, Brandon, you just mentioned it. Um, what do you feel like allowed that to come alive there in the second half? I really feel like the way we played against the run, Daniel, I thought we had more ops. Uh, thought we did a good job of mixing up the groupings. Um, and I felt like we got a lot of quality inside and outside pressure. It wasn't just perimeter pressure. We had good pressure up the middle. We had good rushes from linebackers. Um, with as much attention that's being put on Khalil Mack, I think we've had other people step up. You saw Chris Rump, Kyle Van Noy, Joe G. Um, our linebackers were rushing. I thought Callahan had a couple quality rushes. So, um, but, the, but the only way you get to rush in this league is by defending the run. And, you know, this is, I think, our third straight performance on third down of 30% or better, you know, for us. And, and uh, that's a good sign defensively. How would you evaluate Justin Herbert's performance today? I thought he had his best when his best was required. Uh, you saw all the things that make him special there, uh, his resilience, his poise, uh, his playmaking. Um, you know, there was, there was a lot of pressure inside today. You know, their inside players are outstanding. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons is one of the top players in the league. Um, he's as good of an inside player that I've seen since I've been in the league. So um, there was a lot of pressure inside, um, and it was tight. But Justin plays like he always does. He's patient um, and then, you know, was able to make big plays for us. He was able to find Keenan and Mike today, um, Josh a couple times, and just, uh, you know, again, you, you find out about your quarterback in two minutes. And, you know, again, amazing two-minute drill for him. What's your reaction when Yeah, I just think we practice it all the time, Lindsay. But I think a veteran player too, an experienced player, Lindsay. You know, Mike uh, has has been in a lot of these drills, and so um, I thought it was really cool. I had a really good vantage point when Justin rolled right. Just the chemistry that those guys have, like as he was rolling right, you could just see that he was going to put it back shoulder, back in bounds, you know, where the defender couldn't make a play on it. And those guys just have that magic that, that you need to have, you know, and, and they're a premium tandem. And, you know, Justin has that same magic with Keenan where they can just find each other. Um, and, you know, we obviously needed all of it. And I really felt like we managed the end of the game um, at a high level, you know, outside of the delay. But I, I really felt like we gave our, you know, ourselves a chance to win that game. What do you think it says about your team? Um, you know, you were 6-6 six and six with two... Uh, AFC playoff team coming in that you won both games uh, heading into the final stretch. Yeah, I mean, it's been tight since the bye. I mean, every game that we've played is against a team that's in the hunt. Um, and I think that we've played quality football, you know, since the bye. And we've been in a lot of these tight games. We're used to being in these games. Um, and so I think that you, you see the poise and the confidence in our team come alive, even when it's tight. Um, but that's a good football team. They've been in the playoffs, you know, three straight years, probably going to go four. Um, they've got a lot of players that have been in big games. And, um, you know, to, to, to beat them after they've lost three games, they were playing with a lot of purpose. Um, you saw what Miami did the other night, um, you know, for us to have two quality wins in a row at home. Uh, very proud of our team. What have, you, what have you found defensively over these last two weeks? Obviously, you know, different game plans, different teams and all that stuff. But, like, on a broader level, what do you feel like you found, the team has found defensively here over the last two weeks? Yeah, Daniel, I think that we've got the guys in the right roles. I think that we've finally got guys in the right roles. You know, there's been some continuity. I know that there's still people out, but we've got the right guys doing the right jobs. And we're playing team defense. And since, you got, since I've been here, you've heard me say it. 
And, you know, team defense last week against Miami is much different than team defense this week, but we're playing team defense. You're seeing all 11 players connected to the game plan, executing their assignment, their technique, and their effort. They're playing with the right energy. I felt like we've played as hard as we've ever played since I've been here on defense. You can feel the energy where you get the playmaking, um, and we needed all of it today. You know, because our defense won us the game today. Okay? They gave us a chance, um, and I just am really proud of the way that group's coming together. And, and as we get guys back, we're going to continue to play better and better, and um, I like the way we're playing right now. Sorry if you were asked about this, but specifically with the run defense, what, what did you guys do well to, to slow down Derek Henry? Obviously got a, a little bit. He had some moments, but just yeah, they, uh, overall. Right. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, I think um, knockback, edges, second level, swarm. And that's where it was today. You know, we tackled well. We didn't have any of these catastrophic misses, you know, where you see this guy, you know, and it's all over his movie. You know, he's been in the NFL a long time, and it was all over his movies at college at Bama. Um, we tackled well today, and we were coming to hit him today. And so often you feel, you know, the, the yards after contract because you're kind of absorbing him, and I didn't feel that today. I felt like our guys were aggressive. Do you ever find yourself amazed at <clears throat> Justin watching him, or you see him so much, not, nothing he does surprise you? You know, Bill, not much, rarely. Um, I'm more amazed at practice, you know, than I am at the game, to be honest with you, because there's some things that you guys don't even get to see on the practice field that, um, you know, blow me away. But the the poise that he has, Bill, is his biggest trait to me, is his poise. Um, And, you know, you got to have that, you know, in your quarterback, you know. And and today was like a tough day, um, kind of for offense. It was kind of an uneven day. Uh, But... He's not that way. He's not uneven. He's steady. And then when you got to have it with 40-plus seconds left on the clock and no timeouts, you know that he's going to perform, and that's what he does. Is this this what championship teams have to have, a guy like him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely have to. You definitely, because your trigger man is the engine for your whole team. And I think the other thing, Bill, if you take a look at the ball game from the sideline, I mean, just – how into it he was with the defense, knowing the defense is playing his tail off, our special team's playing its tail off, and, and, he, and he went and he barked at our guys and said, I, I got it. I got it, fellas. You just give us a chance and we got it. And that's what you want from your trigger man, and that's why I'm proud of him. You know, he's going to, you know, he's not going to be happy with how we played today, and neither am I. And that's the other reason why we love him is because he's not satisfied with how we play. He's got a high standard for performance, um, but you need, your, you need your best player to play well at the end, and, and that's what his, you know, that's what he does. Is that poise something that he's developed over time, or has he, did he have that when you first saw it? I think he's always had it, just, you know, just as, as you get more comfort zone, you know, more of a comfort zone, more familiar with your teammates and coaches, I think you, you know, get to be more of yourself, um, and I think he's earning it. Like, you know, when you come into the league, you're brand new, you're just, you're just trying to earn it. You're trying to earn everything, and that's what is also great about him. Is he just he tries to earn everybody's respect, you know? And um, uh, he would, what, he would much rather do that, and um, that's why our guys love him. And you know, again, we're going to need him to play well down the stretch for us. Brady, what did you think of the Austin's uh, run right before the touchdown, and then the touchdown run, just the second effort on both? Teams? Yeah, I thought you know that was one of the bright spots for us today in the red zone. Was we were two of two in the red zone. I felt like we run the football in both times, which is what we were kind of searching to do. Um, and I felt the physicality down there, you know, certainly his second effort uh, and his nose for the end zone. But, you know, I felt like that was a bright spot for us today on offense. You got Jasir in there, yeah. base packages on the outside. Was that like a function of getting a better run defender in there on base packages? Or was that yeah, just wanted a bigger guy to get the, you know, the matchup at the back. Yeah, Lindsay, I think that the last part you said is the most important part, which is us controlling the Chargers and taking care of our football team. We still have a lot of improvement to make. You know, we got some guys back today on offense, um, but it's, it's fully integrating them into the, the plan and getting into rhythm. You can see that our receivers, you know, I think are finding that, like, normal stuff with Justin, like, like how we're used to playing when everyone's together. Um, but we got to get everybody integrated and on defense. You know, we get DJ back, hopefully get Joey back. Um, you want to make sure that you're getting improvements, uh, you're making the improvements so that you can play your best at the end. And it's been a fight this season, as you guys all know, um, to get into a spot where you can say that. Um, but that's what we're going to have to do down the stretch um, to win, you know, this game versus Indianapolis, you know, is we got to make the improvements, use the extra day to our advantage, um, have a great week of practice, and then go play a team that's a very proud football team that has a lot of good players on it. Bigger picture, Brandon, you talked a lot about just all the 
adversity that the team has gone through this year. To, to be here in this position, 8-6, and six, you have a six seed in the AFC playoff picture. What does it say about the coaching staff, the players, the whole organization that you guys have been able to fight through what you've fought through to be in this spot now? Well, I think, I think what today's performance was a good example of is, is that we're a connected team. You know, you, you guys have heard me say that, and I, I believe that. You've got to be a connected team because you're going to go through so much. And it can't just be your offense lighting it up and you're kind of just watching them play, or maybe it's your defense lighting it up and you're just kind of watching them do their thing. You've got to have a team in all three phases that's playing together. You've got to have coaches, players, organization that believes in each other, the way you practice, the way you compete, you know, every single day. And I think that because we're connected, it's allow us to endure all that's happened this season because that is the only explanation. There's no other way to explain it. Otherwise, we would be three and nine or worse, you know, and we believe in one another. And, um, and it's because of what we do every day together. After that second interception, Brandon, did Justin say anything or did you, could you tell he just immediately clutched it and just on the next drive? Yeah, I mean, he wasn't happy. And then I knew that he would get him in the end. You know, I don't need to say anything to Justin. Justin knows exactly what happened out there. And... You know, that's why we love him, because no one's going to be tougher on him than himself. And he knew he was going to make up for it, you know. And he had that look in his eye at the end, like, hey, I'm going to go do something to help us win. And that's what he did. And, um, you know, we got to make, you know, the improvements, like I said, uh, looking at this tape, um, because it wasn't a clean game offensively for us. But we can make the improvements. And like I said, um, our, our offense had its best at the end when we needed it. They play right at the end of the half. Obviously, you're taking a shot at the end zone there. Mm -hmm. Was that uh, just an overthrow? Or what? Uh, we're supposed, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, where it was out of bounds. You know, we're not trying to like, you know, just trying to take time off the clock so we can kick it. You know, um, and their guy just made an incredible play. Mike just kind of, Mike didn't really get outside there, um, and it was just one of those incredible plays by them. You know, that people are going to be showing for years to come about what to do when, you, when you're in that spot. But we're, we're just trying to get it out of bounds and then get some time off, you know, so that we could uh, finish the, the half with a kick, kind of like we did there at the end of the game. Hey, throw, throw it outside, get some time off, let's kick it, and let's roll. Yes, sir. How'd you like the crowd today? Yeah. Saw, there was a lot of blue. A lot yeah, of I like that question. Yeah, great. I'd like to answer that question. Um, I definitely felt the powder blues, saw the powder blues, and I've been seeing it all year on the road in Atlanta, Arizona, and then in our home games. You know, we've been in prime time a bunch where a lot of people travel, you know, to L.A. and, you know, big cities, and I felt the powder blues the whole season. And this was a big game for our team. I could feel that, you know, you could really feel it on defense. When we were on defense, you could hear it, you know, the energy that it provides your team. And then, you know, obviously the big plays on offense, you're going to get all that, that noise. Um, and then when your kicker hits it at the end, you know, that eruption, um, you know, I'm just, the, you know, the powder blues are coming. You're not going to like this question as much, but just you mentioned that the, the, the offense wasn't particularly clean today. Yeah. What did you identify sort of as the issues maybe? Up there? I just didn't think inside we, we, we handled their front very well. Um, they've got a good front, you know, I, I don't know if you're in here when I said it, but Simmons is as good of an inside player um, that I've played against in the league. You know, he's, he's fantastic and they're, they're, they're really good inside. Um, and we just, you know, I didn't, I didn't think that we did a good job, you know, inside and, um, you know, just kind of out of sync a little bit. We had a lot of good plays in there. Um, and then there were some plays that just, it's not up to our standard and we need to, uh, need to improve.